I just thought I would pop on and say hello. It is Sunday morning when I'm filming this. Thought I'd start a little, little vlog. These are going to be daily or a couple daily or something. But just thought I would start. It is about 9 o'clock Sunday morning. And um, why am I up and dressed and not in my house? Mm. Well, actually, my kids have been on vacation. My oldest kids, grandbabies, they went to Branson. It looks like so much fun. I've been there, but we had family that lived in Springfield, which is about an hour away from Branson. So we always just went day trips there. Like we went there for the day, we walked around, we ate, we might catch a show. And we never did like a whole just stay there kind of trip, which looks really cool. So they've got some pets. And so I am out here checking on their pets this morning. And um, then uh, this uh, around noon, a little afternoon, I'm gonna be meeting Joan and Caroline, and we are gonna be going to Plaza Thrift. So I wanna pop back in and show you that. It's a really cool drive out here when there's no traffic at all. It's a 30 minute drive out here. When there's traffic, it can be 40 minutes to an hour, depending on how bad the traffic is. But it's a nice area, I like being out here. So I come out here and I hang out with the dogs for about an hour or so. And different than mine, because my back fence needs to be fixed. Um, I don't let my dogs stay outside for an enormous amount of time. Um, I let them go outside, go potty, and come back in unless I'm out there with them. So I went outside with these guys already. We played a little ball, and so I'm just letting them hang out out there. Make sure they potty as much as they need to. One of them's had some digestive issues, but I think it's just been separation anxiety because he's still a puppy. So, just making sure they look okay, go play with them, hang out here, um, and uh, yeah, and then we'll be on the way. Like I said, it's a pretty cool drive. I have some video of driving across this bridge to get here, so I'm going to let y'all watch that, and then I'll pop back in in a little bit. I can clean up my memory, y'all. I'll see you in a Tammy here and welcome back to Faith Family Fashion. I hope you're having an amazing day. As you see down below, I have a thrift haul and I'm so excited y'all. I just got in. Your girl put came in and put on her pajamas because it is getting chilly outside. It was so nice this afternoon and uh, then when uh, the sun starts going down, the temperature starts dropping, honey, it's getting chilly. Ooh. Okay, so uh, the reason why I come coming in, and I'm so excited, and uh, I'm all windblown, I didn't really stop to fix anything, so I apologize, is I have been out thrift shopping with Caroline and Joan, Joan from over at Thrift Queen Vlogs, and if you know Joan and you watch hers, you, you know Caroline, so uh, we all met up and did some thrifting this afternoon, and I had so much fun, but I also did some a couple days ago, so... You're going to hear some noise. I apologize. Nick is back there playing a video game. I uh, thrifted a big bag of baseballs, and they are all steadily chewing on baseballs, so forgive me. But I won't talk long. We're going to jump right into this, because after this, I'm going to uh, I have a little small Trader Joe's haul, and I think an in-store Kroger haul. I'm going to show you that in another video. And then... We're putting up the Christmas decorations, y'all. So come back for those videos. So here, let me get comfortable, y'all. I am literally in my pajamas. Yes, because what it is pajama season, y'all. Yes, it is. It is snuggle, sweater weather, pajama season, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so my kids have been out of town. My oldest kids, my grandbabies, they went on vacation. And while they were gone, I have went out to their house and checked on their house and checked on their animals. And, uh, you know, just, just been me, me all the way around. Take care of everybody. Now, let's gonna walk back and forth. You know, she's gotta make sure everybody's okay. Um, go lay down my mind. 
and there is a thrift giant out there that actually Caroline told me about. And it just so happened to be Veterans Day on Friday, and I had about an hour to go out there and do some shopping. And now I have the hiccups, so forgive me. But I went out there and I found some things out there. Like I said, I only had about an hour. I would have done so much more damage if I'd had more time, but everything in the store was half priced. It was really busy. If, you've, if you're in the area and you've not been out there, it's a really nice thrift store, really clean, very, very well organized. And they had two entrances and they have cashiers set up at both entrances. So there is that not that backlog of traffic of people waiting to get checked out like there is at all the other thrift stores that I go to that I can't stand half price day for that reason. Mm -hmm. So I have two things that are not clothing items from that store. <coughs> so let me show you those. So this, I've wanted one of these. And these, they sell them at Target and Walmart. I'm pretty sure it's probably from one of those two places. And she's a little dirty. She, she needs to be a little clean, but she was half of $3.99. So how could I say no? Look at her. She got a little bell. She is that nostalgic, um, I want to say like almost a 50s style, but that nostalgic looking little reindeer. She's gray. I wish she had been pink, but I'm probably going to put her in my room because I usually put a pink Christmas tree up in my room. See? There where they wrote on her. So she's got to be cleaned up. I've not cleaned her up, but I thought she was super cute. And I just couldn't leave her. And I've been wanting some, but now I can add to it. So, yeah, I thought that was cute. They have them at Hobby Lobby, but they're a really weird teal color. And I don't, I don't like that color. Okay, then the other thing that I got, I found him as I was walking to the register. And I was talking with this lady that I was standing in line with. And I picked him up, and she's like, oh, he's so cute. And, uh... I couldn't. I couldn't. I had to get him. And uh, I don't normally pick stuff like this up at the thrift store, but I did. And I got a teddy bear, y'all. Look at that face. How cute is that? This is a gunned teddy bear. So I remember being a little kid and gunned teddy bears were expensive. They were sold like in the Hallmark stores. They were sold in the gift stores. They were sold by the florist, you know. So he's just adorably cute. Can I tell you, these are well made. Like you can feel where he's like sewn together, right? Like his parts aren't movable, but he's so well made. And he's been so well taken care of. And his name is Huxley. And he even has a serial number, y'all. And I looked him up, so he was $3.99, so I got him for $2. Yes, look at that face. And y'all, he sells on eBay. If I kept a picture of the listing, I'll show it. He sells on eBay for $39.99. So those of you that are resellers, I'm not. I thrift for myself and my family and my friends and my home. Um, but y'all just look at all of his little details. Those of y'all that thrift and are resellers, y'all look at I want to look at the uh, stuffed animals. Isn't he cute? Oh, he's just... So, I'm going to take his little brown organza ribbon off, and we're going to come up with some sort of Christmas um, related ribbon, and he's going to be sitting out for a Christmas time this year. Yes. Okay. So, that was the two non-clothing items. Um, I picked Nick up this, and it looks brand new. The tags were not on it, but... You know, it's a sweatshirt, and you know how the, like, the inside looks whenever it's been washed, and this doesn't feel like it's been washed. It looks brand new. It was half of $14.91, so yes, a little on the higher end, but Nick loves big, giant, oversized hoodies, and it is that not of this world. If you haven't seen that logo before, that is a Christian logo that we are not of this world. We're just passing through. And these are sold at Christian stores, mostly Mardell's. And um, so I got that for him and he likes it. He's actually wanted to wear it. I told him I had to haul it, show you guys, and then throw it in the washing machine. But yeah, so I got that for him. So it is just a black hoodie. So $7 and change and it feels brand new. So I got that. And uh, oh, we reach. Sorry, y'all. Okay, and then for myself, I got, I love a Chanel sweater. I'm pulling the tags off while we're doing this. I hope y'all don't mind. So this was half of $8.99. And it is a beautiful eggplant colored Chanel sweater by the brand Orvis. Look at this. I cannot. This 
I'm fixing to wash on general side for it. Let it flat dry and hopefully it'll be done in the morning because I think it's, it's going to be watering it to work. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? You'll just see. It is so soft. It is no Chanel sweaters. You want to really check them over when you're looking at the thrift store because for some unknown reason, sometimes they end up with holes in them and you might put a hole in it around the seaming. You might find it on the sleeve. So I tried to check all over here. So I didn't find anything. Hopefully when I put it on, I won't find anything, but I love this. I love the color. It is so soft. I want a Chanel throw in here is what I want. And eh, a little too purpley for the couch, but yeah, I got that. Love it. And then I got this. Uh, let me find the tag. I think pull the tag off of this one. This one, I'm pretty sure, yeah, here's the tag. So this one was half of 1241, 1291, whatever that is. Yes, Mama, Mama has to sniff everything. This seat and the couch sinks. So I feel like I'm like really short. Okay, so this is a long cardigan, kind of like duster, but not duster length. Um, but it goes down past my knees, but not to the floor. And I don't know why, I know some places do this if they get um, overstock. You know, they, they, they scribble out the uh, tag. I don't know who does that, but I know some places do it when they buy overstock items. But it's actually Style & Company. So it is a Macy's brand. It is really pretty. Um, so it's got a variety of patterns and colors here. So it starts out with a oatmeal -y beige color, but y'all have to look at this part. So look, it's got this super nice fuzzy little section right here. And then we go into variegated grays and then some more little fuzzy section. So it's really cute. It's really cute. And it's just a nice sweater for this season, you know, kind of a, along the whole shacket line. Oh, I have something I didn't, I forgot to bring in here. I'll have to show y'all. So, so yeah, so I got that. So I love that. And I think I have one more thing. Sorry. And then I found this, which I was really excited about. This is brand new with tags. Brand new with tags. They wanted $14.91 for it, so I got it for half of that price. So, even salmon tags were half price. And this still has a tag on it. It is by Seven, the brand Seven. And it is originally $74. And it is, stop it, a dog scratching. He's done. Anyway, it is a really nice cowl neck black cable knit sweater. Long. I like the long sweaters. And it has the balloon sleeves, right? Really nice. Brand new seven bucks, right? So I was really impressed. I had so much fun shopping there at that thrift giant. Like I said, I really enjoyed it. And since it was, uh, my kids live up north, it was just like a 15 minute drive to their house. And I definitely will be going back. So yes. So I got that. Now there is, whoo, sorry. Before I get into the stuff that I bought when I was out with Joan and Caroline, there's one more thing I want to share with you. So hold tight and let me run and get it. Okay. In addition to all the other noise, the washing machine is going. So, all right. Now one evening after work, the closest thrift store I have to my, to me is um, Goodwill's. And you know, I have a love hate relationship with Goodwill. I find stuff in there and then I think their prices are too high. I think their prices are too high, but it is what it is. I went in there. I wanted to look for a new outfit. I looked through clothes and I came up with an entire outfit. So I have a picture of myself in the dressing room. I'll try to remember to pop that up. It's in the dressing room. So she looks, yeah, she looks rough, but I found some brand new old Navy jeans brand new old navy jeans brand new dark wash nothing wrong with them tags still on them i've washed and worn them they actually just came out they smell so good <laughs> but yeah i got some jeans and i don't remember what i paid for anything i think the jeans were like 7.99 so i got a pair of jeans and i found 
just random. I mean, didn't even look through the racks for this. I just seen it, grabbed it, and carried it into the dressing room, and I ended up getting it because I just liked it that much, and it's a basic. So if you can thrift your basics at a really good price, I feel like their shirts are overpriced. They're like $7.99 as well. So no, I think the jeans were more than that. Um, Thor. He's scratching again, y'all, the allergies. But this is just a Chico's turtleneck. And I should have brought a hanger, but I didn't. But these are my last clothing line. Well, I have one more. So it is just a black Chico's turtleneck. Um, I actually, I, I like the way that it fits because you know, sometimes turtlenecks can be a little clingy, right? This fits really nice. It fits nice and loose, but not too loose that it just looks frumpy. Anyway, it fits really nice. I like the way it fits on. So it's just a black turtleneck, okay? So I got the dark wash skinny jeans and I rolled them up. I put them with the black turtleneck and then I found this. And this I think is really pretty. And I don't know the name of it because it's dark in here and I can't see. But it is Love Scarlet. And it is a sock folder. It's a sweater vest duster kind of situation. So I know it's kind of hard to tell, but like I said, I'll put the picture up. So it is really kind of neat where the bottom half is more of a crochet look and it is a vest so it is sleeveless and then this part goes around the neck and down so i know it's kind of hard to tell but i'll put the picture up so you can get an idea of it but it's nice and long but it doesn't go all the way to the floor so that is an entire outfit and i wore it with some black um hiking boots that i got on clearance at walmart for like three bucks so whole outfit was able to go in pick out an entire outfit I love it hopefully I put the picture up so you get an idea of what everything looks like so this is clean so I'm gonna set this here okay so the fun part going out with Joan and Caroline Joan had ran a giveaway on her channel forever ago and we just now met up and she gave me these and she had uh, someone that sent them to her and she gave away the extra set. So these are actually pillow covers and I will put, here's the card, here's where they're from. So I'm gonna put that up there. So they're really neat and I meant to bring a pillow in here so that I can do them, but they stretch out. So my bedroom is gray. So it's kind of gray and silver and I'm going to keep it that color and I'm going to just add to it and add some color to it. But it zips. It's got a really nice zipper. So it zips open. You put your pillow in here and it stretches out, which is really nice because everything I have is a lighter gray. So this is going to be really nice. So if I get a pillow in here, I'll take a picture of it so that you can see it. But I won that from her channel. So thank you, Joan. I actually need pillows and pillow covers, y'all. So I don't have enough decorative pillows. I have a uh, furry monster that likes to eat my pillows. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can, see, you can still see Huxley. Set him up here. Isn't he cute? He's just adorable, right? Okay, so now out with them. I need to, uh, let me move this clothes out of the way. Oh, that needs to be washed. Okay, so we went to two different thrift stores. We went to Plaza Thrift uh, in Plano, and then we went to another one. It just said thrift store. And it, uh, I've never been to that one before, so I have a new thrift store to go to. I actually enjoyed that one. And I, this is kind of mixed up. I didn't keep them separate, I don't think. But uh, I mostly got some Christmas decor since I've not decorated <laughs> yet. I know I'm behind in the YouTube world. But this was $2.99, and I thought it was too cute. And it is just... Merry Christmas, y'all. Isn't that cute? So I can hang it up somewhere. I think it's adorable. So that was like $2.99. Isn't that cute? It's like a like a shiny burlap. And then it's stitched on it. Super cute. I got that. And then from that same store, I got this side. It just needs to be, the ribbon needs to be like poofed up and straightened out. But it's super cute. So it's like two little boards. 
and it says jingle all the way and it's got this cute little tartan little ribbon on it with some little greenery and I don't know where it was from originally but originally it was $7.99 and I got it for $3.93 or $3.43 I don't know which one it was but it's super cute jingle all the way got that and then I also got some 50 mini lights for $2.92 so I'm going to be putting those around the fireplace or in my little cubie shelf that my TV sits on, something just to get some more twinkle lights going on. So I have that. And from that same thrift store, I found a Christmas blouse and it is by Modern and this was $3.99. This store doesn't have specials, they tell me. I didn't see anything up that said colors, so they said no, it's just the price that's on it. And if it's on special, they'll mark it down. So, but this is a super cute Christmas sweater, y'all. Look at this. It looks perfect condition. Just says Merry Christmas with the little multicolored trees on it. Isn't that cute? Really nice. Nice long. Can wear this over some leggings. Looks super cute. Right? Love that. Gonna wash that. And what else did I get? Oh, I got this from that same store. This is a Noritake spoon rest. So it is a, let me see, Nortucky. So they had some other Nortucky stuff there, but this was the only piece that I really liked. And the prices on them were really, really good. So let's open it up so we can take a look. Of course, she can't get the box open. Here we go. Okay. This is a, can't wait, can't wait. Okay, sorry about that. Look how cute. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Look, it's just gonna sit like this. You set your spoon in it. It's gonna sit on my stove. It's cute, right? I love it. So I got that. Okay, now, all of this, I believe, Except the lights were from Thrift Giant as well. The rest of this is from Thrift, uh, not Thrift Giant, Plaza Thrift. And Caroline found this. I love it. I have that in one of my videos. I showed y'all the little expanding peg thing. It's vintage. It's got the pegs on it. I have it up by my front door. Um, and I'll, I'll show y'all around when I get my Christmas set up. But uh, I um, have it set by my front door and I hang different stuff on it, right? So she found this. And this was $4.94. Look at this. So it is a galvanized metal. Kind of goes with the whole kind of decor and theme that I have going on here. It says Joy. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's got the uh, rope to hang it from. Love it. Wish I could have found more pieces like that. Love, love, love that. So I thought that was fun. And then I got, she also found this towel which I'm going to wash and set in my kitchen. And this is super cute. And uh, she said it was a name brand. Who is this? This is a Williams and Sonoma kitchen towel. Okay. Who doesn't love to find stuff like that at the thrift store versus going there buying it? Okay, y'all, look at this. It says uh, Candy Cane Christmas. And my Christmas theme, I'm doing the same thing I did last year, is red and white very kid friendly I've got grandbabies I like to keep stuff very kid friendly so you know they come over and enjoy it so yeah candy cane Christmas I love it so I got that and then Caroline and John both found these and I decided to get them I have this uh, QB shelf piece that my TV sets on so I think these will look sorry about the dogs I think these will look really pretty in there. So hold on. Okay, they sell these. These obviously go together, but they sell them each piece. Um, they're actually candlestick holders, but I don't know if I'm gonna put a candlestick in them, but they are they are heavy. So they are Santa Claus. And the thing is, is I wanted Santa Claus. Now that I was gonna bark. I wanted some Santa Clauses. I didn't see any I like, and I know these are kind of hard to see. But he, this is a Santa Claus, and he's got his bag and a teddy bear. And then on his back is where you can put the candle in. 
And then this one is the same design, except he's got a Christmas tree and he's got a present. And so you put the tree there. These are so heavy. I swear you can work out with these. These are super heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of those battery operated little tea lights and put under them. That was Joan's idea. So, and I'm going to put them in the shelf over here. So I think that'll look really cool over there. So that's what I got. And that is everything, I believe. I don't think I left anything out. That's everything I got. I hope you enjoyed this thrift haul. Y'all let me know if you've been out thrifting. Let me know what you think of what I found. And um, come back for the other videos. Be watching because we're going to do a, we're going to start doing some decorate with me. Uh, putting the Christmas decorations up, getting the fall stuff out, um, and maybe doing some rearranging in this room. So y'all watch for that. And uh, thank you so much. Remember to subscribe if you're not already a family member. And I will see you. The dog's barking now. I will see you all in the next video. Remember to thank God for today because it truly is a gift. Bye-bye.